guys, Troy from Australian Guitar Channel here with a lesson for that song, Boys Light Up, which lots and lots of people have been requesting, uh, mainly the solo, but I just did the whole thing anyway. And um, I also uh, wanted to mention that I don't use the original tracks in these videos anymore. There can be sometimes copyright issues or YouTube can just block you or the record company or whoever can just block the video, so I didn't want that. So I'll just talk through the solo. All right, guys, I'm getting so many requests, lots and lots of requests every week, like seven to 10 a week sometimes. So I'm making note of it. If you really wanna hear a song, just maybe you know, keep requesting it. Eventually I'll get around to it, uh, I promise. And um, pretty soon I'll do a little review of my FM3 FX amp modeler that I'm using. Um, I just need to learn how to use it a little better myself first. All right, anyway, let's get into the lesson. All right, see you guys. All right, so. All right, so boys light up. So we're gonna start with a B minor bar chord on the seventh fret, and we're gonna hit the kind of top three strings with up strokes. And then we're gonna go down to a G a major bar chord. Same strings up to an A major bar chord on the 5th fret and back up to the B minor alright and that's basically the verse really those are the main 3 chords of the song and then the whole band kicks in and then the, the uh, harmonica All right, now that's one of the guitars. The other guitar is doing this. All right, so at the start, I'm hearing, um, on the second guitar, I'm hearing this. Okay, so the second guitar part on that uh, intro part is doing this. Okay, so we've got octaves on the 9th and 11th frets on the A and G strings. Okay, and then we go up to 5, 4, 5, and then we got 9th, 7th, what do we got there, 7th, 9th, 7th. And then, okay, for that opening section. And then we get into the main verse. Just as I did before. But like I said, there's two guitars going on here. So that's the first one. And the second one is doing this. So it's sliding between the chords. Okay, doing a little slide down from one chord to the next. And then hitting those bottom two strings afterwards. All right, simple. And then we got the chorus, all right? Wanna sing, song, dance. Wanna perform, dance. What a cheap tent show. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so it's just those same chords, B minor, A, G, and then it ends on an F sharp before it goes into the um, chorus. So that's the pre-chorus, I'm sorry, I should have said. What a sing-song dance. What a performance, A. What a cheap tent show, G. Oh, no, 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 no. Then the bars light up. And that's basically the only sections of the song you need to know, really, intro, verse, and chorus. And like I said before, it's got that second guitar part of. Okay, that's all you need to know. Um, and it's probably time we best, best time, it's probably best I now get into the solo. 
Incidentally, the sound I'm using on my FM3 for this is called A-Class 15, um, which is the fifth patch, if you will, on the, uh, on the uh, modeler. Okay, so the first look of the solo is this one. And that's the second one, all right? So we're going to start on uh, seventh and ninth frets on the G and D string. And then we do a hammer on from the seventh to ninth on the G string and then repeat that first lick. And do it again, all right? And then we do this one. Seventh and ninth on the G. And then we do a bend up, whole tone bend on the G. Bring it down, pull off to the ninth fret on the D string. Okay, those are your first few licks. Okay, and your next little lick is this one here. Oops. All right. Which is just hammer on from the seventh to the ninth on the A, seventh fret on the D. And then this little lick here is seven, nine, seven, five on the A string. Slide up from the Seventh and ninth on the D. Okay. All right, that's the first part of the solo by Simon Binks, I might add. This is our next little lick. Seven to nine. Still, this is all B minor pentatonic. This whole solo. Again, just hammer on from the seventh to ninth on the G. That's our next little lick. Half tone bend, pull off, and then end off with a full tone bend. Next little lick is this one here. All right. And then we got this little Chuck Berry kind of lick. Now this is all going on behind James Rain singing, so uh, uh, you might need to concentrate and go over this a bit and, and really uh, pair up the licks and, and pair them up to the vocals. Next little lick is this one here. All right, so I'm doing the 10th fret on the B string with my pinky. All right. And then we've got this little lick here. Ninth fret on the G. Hammer on from the 7th to the 10th on the B. And off on that uh, first fret on the... Sorry, what am I saying? 7th fret on the top string. Then we've got this lick here. Classic pentatonic lick. 10-7, 10-7. On the E and B, ending off on the seventh fret on the B. Incidentally, I'm right at the um, uh, bridge pickup on this one. That's what I'm hearing anyway, a bridge pickup sound. Okay, so this next little fast run I'll do first. Um, Okay, so we've got uh, both uh, 10 to 7 pull-offs on the E and B strings, and then we've got this lick. Seventh fret, E and B. Okay. And then we've got this one. 7, 10, pull-off back to the 7. 10th fret on the G string and then we have a pull off down to the 9th on the G string and that's when it starts to bend and it goes a little fuzzy on the recording but I'm pretty sure that's pretty accurate um, analysis or learning of that lick. Oops. That's the next little lick. Seven, nine. Bend up, down. 
Pull off 9 to 7 all on the G, ending on the B. Next little lick here is up on the 15th fret on the B string, and we go like this. Okay, so we've got uh, 15th fret on the bend, whole tone bend, 15th fret on the B, whole tone bend. And then bring it down and then do a up down whole tone bend again. Down to the 12th fret on the B. And then we're going to go up to the 7th, 17th fret on the B and do this. Bend up on the 17th fret. Then 17th fret on the E string. And then bring that 17th fret on the B string back down. 15th fret on the B. Pull off from the 17th to the 15th. End off on that 16th fret on the G string. Next little lick is this. Okay, a little Chuck Berry lick again. 9th on the G. 7th fret on the B and E strings. And then bend that 10th uh, fret on the E string. Okay, and this next little lick here after the... After that little lick, it goes like this. And that last little bit kind of fades into the into the mix a little bit. So um, we've got a, t a tenth fret bend, and then we got bend up and down, down to the seventh, and then bend on the tenth fret of the B string, and then we got this little lick. Seventh, tenth, seventh, both on the E and B. Then we've got the little flattened fifth there on the uh, G string. I think it's doing that. All right. And then we're going to go to the next lake where... um. Uh, James Rain singing, the boys light up, and the boys light up, and the guitar's just still in this. Alright, 7th and ninth on the D string. Pull off, hammer on on 7th and ninth. Then it does that just before the little outro bit, it does this. Top two strings on the fifth fret. Okay, so the last lick heading out of the song goes like this. So we're just bending slow little whole tone bends on the um, ninth frets on the G. 12th fret on the G, 14th fret on the G, and we're going up to that B note on the uh, 12th fret on the B string. Oops, sorry. And then just at the very last bit of the song, I'm just kind of hearing this. Alright. And that's just on the 10th fret on the B and E strings. And there's a lot going on. Remember, there's three guitars in that band. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the solo, all right? I did my best. As, uh, it kind of gets floats in and out of the mix a bit, and um, but I did what I could. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys.